Why are only women accused of practicing witchcraft? It's a common misconception that only women were accused of witchcraft. In fact, six out of the 20 victims executed during the Salem witch trials were men. Reverend George Burroughs, George Jacob Sr., John Willard, John Proctor, and Samuel Wardwell were all convicted of witchcraft during the 1692 trials and executed by hanging. One other man, Giles Corey, was pressed to death for refusing to cooperate with the court. There are, in fact, also cases of witch hunts that accused more men than women. One example is the Icelandic witch hunt of 1625 to 1685, in which eight women were accused and 110 men. However, it is also important to note that these cases are quite unusual, and historically speaking, witch hunts have been more likely to target a majority of women than men. This was in part due to a general belief that women were more likely to be tempted by the devil than men. For example, historian Mary Beth Norton notes how the judges of the Salem witch trials were known to have consulted Reverend Bernard's 1627 text, Guide to Grand Jury Men, as a reference on matters of witchcraft. In this text, Bernard declares that, while witches could be both male or female, they were far more likely to be women, as they were more credulous, more malicious, and therefore more fit instruments of the devil than men. So, while these wicked traits were believed to be able to be identified in anyone, man, woman, or child, they were also believed to be far more prevalent in women. Witchcraft accusations also tended to be targeted towards those who pushed against societal norms. This is why older women without children, financially independent women, outspoken or argumentative women, and women believed to have done something scandalous, such as having a child outside of marriage, were frequent targets of witchcraft accusations. You might also recognise that the stereotypical figure of the witch that we see in popular culture is almost always female. She also often reflects these very same traits, the older vengeful woman, the solitary outspoken woman, or the scandalous woman. Both men and women have been accused of witchcraft across history. There is a place for understanding why there are often female associations with the image of the evil witch, and how this was reflected in witch hunt accusations, while also ensuring that male victims are equally remembered. 